What's going on, people? We are Tottenham TV here, back again with some more content for you guys. And it is the end of the month, and you know what that means. It's time for the September player ratings tier list. We, we do it at the end of every month just to see uh, averaging of all our player ratings for each player um, at the end of the month to see how they've performed. We put them into, uh, what was that, seven different tiers. Excellent, very good good okay not good awful and can't judge we're we're changing a bit the uh, scoring system because i felt like the averages um were made it very hard for players to reach certain uh tiers and i think this probably these tiers are more accurate so um we've gone if you get 7.5 or above you're an excellent 7 to 7.4 is very good 6.5 to 6.9 is good 6 to 6.4 is okay 5 to 5.9 is not good and anything under 5 is awful so hopefully this should be a more accurate reflection of our feelings over the month for each player but without further ado let's get into the ratings and starting off we got fraser forster who didn't make an appearance this month so he goes into can't judge very easiest decision that we have to make in fact the next one as well bentancor he goes into can't judge. He's hopefully getting back in. We hopefully he gets back to, um, fit soon. Brian Hill as well. He can't judge. So the first three. Look, these this is in random order, guys. So the the, the they just it comes up. The players come up as they come. Next up is Ben Davis. Can we judge Ben Davis? We cannot judge Ben Davis because he hasn't played this month. So he also goes into can't judge. Okay, the first player we can judge is Vicario. And so, Vicario, uh, what do you reckon, Ben? Where do you reckon he goes? Excellent. 100%. He's been brilliant this month. He's been absolutely brilliant. In the four games that we've played, um, look, he hasn't kept a clean sheet, to be fair, this month. But I still feel like he's uh, saved us in a lot of games, provided really good saves um, in the Arsenal game, in the Liverpool game. Um, I don't think he was very much called upon in the Burnley game, to be fair um what was the other game that we played in the Sheffield United game as well so I think he's had two strong games two games where he hasn't really been called upon but I think um I think he's up there all right well he did average um over the month a 7.5 he got two sevens for Burnley and Sheffield United and two eights for Arsenal and Liverpool so a strong showing this month for Vicario he goes into excellent brilliant month for him um really growing uh, as each game as well he's becoming a bit of a fan favorite with some of his celebrations as well so absolutely loving Guillermo Vicario uh next up is Sanchez he's been sold so he can't be judged uh we can put him there uh Bissouma brilliant month for excellent, him excellent 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 move on uh, he's averaged an 8.3 this month, which is uh, pretty astounding. Got an 8 against Burnley, a 9 against Sheffield United, and two eights against Arsenal and Liverpool. So really, really strong month for East Pesuma. 8.3 straight into excellent. What a month for him. To be fair, to be fair, he should um, he should get an extra mark as well to go even into a tier above that all the, with all the shade the Arsenal fans were throwing at him before the North, North London derby. 100%. He really put them in their place, um, I think, this month, and especially in that game as well, because they were really uh, brushing him off and weren't taking him seriously. But what a month he has had. Uh, next up, Mickey van der Ven, another player who's had a very strong month. And I reckon we know where he's going. He's going straight into excellent. Damn right another he is. He's averaged... Month. He's averaged an 8.5 this month. 8.5, so even a bit higher you than Basuma. You know what, with Mickey van der Ven, yeah, I think like we've all been super impressed with him um, coming into the Premier League without like playing a top team. And in these last two games, playing against top teams, he's really shown uh, properly what he's all about. And um, it just seems like he's getting better and better. And, and no matter who he f comes up against, it doesn't phase him. So this guy is a phenomenon. 100% two eights uh, this month against Liverpool and against Burnley and two nines against Sheffield United and against Arsenal so amazing month for Mickey van der Ven long may it continue next up we have who do we have after van der Ven we have Ivan Perisic who we've only given one rating to unfortunately because he's mostly been sub appearances and he's been um, injured obviously picked up an injury the only rating we did give him was for Sheffield United at home which was a sub appearance and he's averaged an 8.5 so i guess he goes into excellent 
uh, Ivan Perisic. A great, a great uh, cameo for him this month. For ten minutes of football, he gets for ten puts, minutes. Uh, what? Same, what? Same pedestal as um of Vicky Van der Ven, Eve Basuma, and Vicario. I think it's a bit of a uh, bit of a stretch, but seeing as it was probably his last ten minutes for Tottenham, let's give it to him. Yeah, we'll give him the excellent look. Give him something. It's been a it's been a very hard season for him. He's going to be missing a lot of it. So I feel for him. He goes into excellent for those ten minutes against Sheffield United to pick up Perisic. Uh, next up, we have. Um, Oliver Skip, who we didn't rate at all this month. Um, he's been restricted to cameo appearances. Obviously came off the bench uh, last game, but I don't think other than that, I'm not sure if he played. Maybe he came off the bench against Burnley as well, but it's been a few minutes here and there. So um, we put him in can't judge, I guess. Um, Oli Skip, we can move on from him. Next up, Manor Solomon, the Israeli. Um has had no. Nope, we we can definitely judge him this month. Had had three ratings. Uh, where do you reckon he goes? Manor, I would say he goes into because he had a really strong showing against Burnley, um, against Sheffield United. I think he was fairly good, but not as good he was as he was against Burnley. And then two sub appearances haven't been unbelievable. Haven't been great. So I'll probably say he's just about in good. He actually averages a seven point three. I actually, I, I've, I've rated him a lot higher than you. You've rated him as a 7.7. 7. Sorry, you've rated him as a 7 for the month. I rated him as a 7.7. 7. I gave him a bit higher ratings against Burnley and Sheffield United. Did get a 6. We both gave him a 6 against Liverpool for his cameo. So he gets into very good, actually, Manor, to be fair to him, for those two appearances against uh, Burnley and Sheffield United, which he did get two assists. And I thought he did have two very good games, but he was a bit disappointing um, against Liverpool. Didn't I don't think he came on at all against Arsenal, did he? So didn't get rated in that game. Yeah, he did. So he came on for the last half an hour. Half an hour? Yeah. Against Arsenal? Yeah. Maybe I missed that rating. He came on then. for Brennan Johnson. He was injured. Try to remember. Oh, so, okay, that, that screws up the rating a bit. Okay, so maybe he does go into good. Maybe we'll put him into good then, because I think, cause I think um, he... Uh, I must have missed it when I was going through the ratings. Um, he Because I think we both gave him a six in that one after he came on, didn't we? I don't think we gave him a very high rating. So uh, that probably would drag it down a bit. Um, so we'll put him Come into on, good. Sim, get it right. You're supposed to be the stat man. I just got it. I got that one a bit wrong. I forgot he came on against Arsenal. I just, I, I, I went through the ratings videos. I just must have missed it. Um, ne uh, next up, Eric Dyer. Uh, I think excellent. I think for him this month, you have to say, hasn't made an appearance. How, this is Eric Dyer's best month in the Spurs shirt. <laughs> Unbelievable month. month shirt. Unbelievable month. He hasn't had a rating to give at all, uh, Eric Dyer, and that's probably how we want it to stay uh, for the time being, to be fair. Um, but I guess, look, he has been rated, so put him in can't judge because um, he hasn't made the pitch at all this month. Um, next up is Ryan Sessignon, also can't judge because he's still coming back from injury. Look at the, how many can't judges there are. Um, uh, next up as well, Alejo Veliz, another one we can't judge because he hasn't uh, played at all. Um, he made his debut, didn't he, against Liverpool, but just yeah, not enough yeah. time couple of minutes uh so can't really uh give him a rating there um next up is Cootie romero um excellent he has averaged a 7.9 so not as strong as van der ven who got an 8.5 but still a very strong month for Cootie romero nine against burnley after he scored that cracker you remember at the beginning of the month what a goal that was an eight against um uh, an eight against Sheffield United, seven against Arsenal. After he had a bit of a, he had a couple of bad moments, but obviously he ended up having a good game. And an eight against Liverpool, so very strong month from Cootie. Um, but maybe outshone a bit by his partner, but still a very good month. Yeah, if he had, if he didn't have those unfortunate moments against Arsenal uh, with the penalty, which I thought was a bit um, unlucky for him, and obviously the own goal as well. Um, which also a bit unlucky. If he didn't have those moments, he's probably on a level uh, playing field with Van der Ven, um, or close, much closer anyway. Yeah, definitely. Um, but okay, he goes into excellent as well. So very good month for Kuti Romero. Um, basically, anyone who's started every game is pretty much going to excellent at the moment. Um, Emerson Royale, uh, he has one rating, which was his cameo appearance against Sheffield United. Um, so not much to go one on. Minute. He came on for one minute. Did he? Was it one minute? 
Well, I guess was there it? was 10 minutes added on. So Yeah, there was 10 11 minutes, minutes added 11 minutes. So for 11 minutes, we both gave him a six. So I guess he goes into... For six minutes, I mean, you probably it's probably can't judge, I guess. But um, if we're going by, strictly by the ratings, he goes into OK, which I'm pretty comfortable with him going in. Yeah, we'll I put him in OK. I think it's a bit unfair. He should probably go into can't judge, but um, I don't mind either way. Eh, we'll put him in OK. Better than a can't. Look, we've got, look how many can't judges we have. Let's just put him in OK. I think he, he'll probably be all right there because we've got another can't judge coming in, and that's Ashley Phillips, who, again, hasn't played a minute. So he goes into that um, that one. Richarlison next. That's an interesting Ooh. one. Bit of a mix. Well, a bit of a mixed month, but definitely a better month for last month. Uh, where do you reckon he yeah. goes? Well, obviously, he scored against Sheffield United. He which you which you gave well, which you gave him a ten out of ten for by the way. Yeah, well, he came on in the last minute and got a goal and an assist. So mm -hmm. um, he's got the goal and assist against Sheffield United. He's come on last twenty minutes against Burn. He didn't do much. Last twelve minutes against Arsenal, and um, ninety minutes against Liverpool, which I thought was a really strong showing. So I would probably say very good, but he's probably going to get the excellent numbers. He goes into excellent because he just sneaks in at a 7.7. 7. Um, I think that 10 out of 10 probably did. From to be fair, I gave him a 9 out of 10 as well. Um, so that that probably ups his rating. Um, against Arsenal, I gave him a 7. You gave him an 8. So pretty strong. Uh, so not Arsenal, against Liverpool. Um, we both gave him strong ratings as well. So look, maybe we just give Richarlison his props. I think he's had a much better month this month. Um, big improvements. Um, apart from maybe that cameo appearance against Arsenal, I think he's been pretty good. So I guess we put him in excellent. Yeah, that, that's yeah, I'm, where I'm he goes. That. I mean, you got to give him his props for when um, when he's had a much better month. I mean, he's come out, he's talked about his uh, problems in terms of his mental health and and people around him and all that kind of stuff, and he seems much better for it. So uh, happy days. Big up to Rishi. He goes into excellent. Next up, we have James Madison, another straw after getting Player of the Month for August. Is he up for Player of the Month again? You reckon? I reckon this player of a month is a dead cert for Thurman Son, to be honest. But mm. I think uh, Madison has definitely been um, incredible this month. And there is only one place for him. And that is excellent. He's been central to everything that we're doing. We look a bit toothless when he goes off the pitch, to be honest. So, um, yeah, he's very vital to us. Absolutely. He averaged an 8.1. Very impressive month for James Madison. Got um, a nine against Burnley after a goal and assist. He got an eight against Sheffield United, an eight against Arsenal with two assists, and an eight against Liverpool after another impressive showing. And obviously, he helps out that first goal um, for Hume Min Son, uh, playing it through to Richarlison. So, another very, very strong month. I, I think my lowest rating has been uh, he got a seven against Ful in Fulham away in the cup game. Other than that, he hasn't got lower than an eight for me. So, what a season he is having so far. Uh, for James Madison. Yeah, just need to keep him fit. 100%. And it's always been a, a scare at the moment. Um, but moving on to... Sorry? He's an excellent, excellent James Madison. Next up, we have Hyun Min Son. Uh, didn't have maybe the best first month. But absolutely right he is going straight into excellent averaging an 8.4 this month a really strong month for him obviously he didn't score a goal in august um uh, against brentford man united or bournemouth predominantly playing on the left hand side but since he's moved to the uh, to the center striker obviously the hatch against burnley Sheffield united maybe not his best performance but then arsenal got a brace at the emirates and against liverpool got on the score sheet as well and forced a world-class save out allison with a, a spectacular volley as well so um got a 10 6 9 and 8 uh for human son so spectacular month six goals as well no player has scored uh more goals than human son for september so surely a shoe and forgot for a uh, player of the month yeah i think so and um look we, we actually did last month's rating after the burnley game so that's why people were a bit confused why human son was actually so low in the rankings but we are taking the burnley account into the um to, into account this in this month's tier list so uh, like you say six goals unbelievable showing captain uh marvel and you know what in terms of the not scoring in august i think harry kane had a word with him saying look if you really want to be a legend at this football club do not score in august 100 percent, and uh he's following suit for sure next up we have dayan kulisevsky 
It's in excellent. Oh, two goal. Uh, no, one goal this month against Sheffield United. Uh, for some good showings, though. I'll probably say he goes into very good. He ha- Dejan Kulisevsky has averaged a 7.6. So he sneaks into excellent, actually, just about, <laughs> because he's got um, a 7 against uh, Burnley, two eights against Sheffield United and Arsenal, and a 7 against Liverpool. So very pretty strong month. I actually gave him a 9 for his late winner against Sheffield United as well. So Kulisevsky, when it goes into excellent, I think he's had a very good month. And uh, for me, I think having an underrated season as well um, for how he's been performing. So um, very good month for him. Gets into excellent as well. Uh, very good. I Next like, up. Look, I like Kulisewski and I like what he's done this month. But I think excellent is, is a bit of a stretch, to be honest, because we know that he can produce so much more. Well, what's he done? Uh, he's got against... Did he score against Burnley? Uh, no, I don't think he did. He scored the winner against um, Sheffield United. Didn't score against uh, Arsenal. Didn't score against Liverpool either or assist. So maybe just for one goal, an excellent maybe is a bit maybe a bit over overestimating him. But he did sneak into it. It was a tight one. Um, yeah. But I think that nine out of ten I gave him probably just about snuck him in there. So maybe look, we'll do, maybe we'll st- uh, put him down to very good uh, at the end. But um, next up we have Pierre Emil Hoybier, um, the defensive midfielder. He can he be rated? He can be rated. Two ratings this month against Arsenal and against Sheffield United. He's been rated. Um, where do you reckon he goes for his two cameo appearances? I'll probably say he just goes into good. I mean, nothing spectacular, nothing awful. I just think he's been, uh, been yeah, he's been fairly good. Nothing, nothing more, nothing less. Perfect. And that's exactly where he goes. Averaging a 6.8. So he goes into good. Um, yeah, perfectly predicted, uh, and yeah, I think it's pretty fair. I think his cameos have been decent, but not nothing too too great, but nothing too bad either. Has helped secure some wins. Um, obviously, I thought he helped quite a bit to uh, uh, get the the winner against Liverpool, but yeah, I think he's been all right. Uh, next up, Giovanni Lo Celso, another can't judge because he hasn't played a minute uh, of this month, been injured. Uh, story of Lo Celso's life. Uh, next up, we've got Pedro Porro. Excellent. Pedro- 100% excellent. He's been growing game on game. I thought last week, uh, the last game against Liverpool was his best defensive display of the lot. And um, he's just providing week in, week out for us. And obviously that amazing assist in the Burnley game as well for Human Son. So, uh, yeah, he has to go into excellent. Yeah, and he averages a 7.9. So he goes into excellent. I thought it would be a bit higher given his some of his performances. He got an 8 against Burnley, a 7 against Sheffield United, an 8 against Arsenal and a 9 against Liverpool. I'm guessing I gave him, I gave him only a 7 against Arsenal, which I think I was a bit harsh for. I think he should have been an 8. So maybe that's why it was, and maybe doesn't reach just doesn't reach the 8 overall. Did you do Pedro Porro so dirty? Yeah, you're probably right. He should be on an 8 overall, I reckon, uh, for his average, but he gets a 7.9, but he still gets the excellent. That's what matters. Unbelievable month from uh, Pedro Porro. Um, defensively brilliant um, offensively we know he's one of the part, best passers in the team and he keeps up his standards so brilliant from Pedro Porro Pape Matasar excellent where do you, where, you reckon he goes excellent. into excellent I reckon so um, he's been a key cog in uh, everything that we've been doing this season he literally just never stops running and I think he actually does a massively underrated job for the team to be honest and um yeah, he might he might just drop into very good because he doesn't get the recognition maybe that other players get because of their goal contributions. But I think he's done a really solid job for the team this month and I would personally put him in excellent. Well, he is averaging a 7.1. So he does go into very good. Actually misses excellent by a fair bit. Um, so doesn't quite make it. In fact, you, you gave him four sevens this month. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I, I gave him three sevens and an eight, which gave him the seven point one. So Pape Matasar goes into very good. Uh, well, but it's still, a, it's still a good month. You did him dirty this time, exactly. Um, but yeah, look, I'm pretty happy with him this month. What I'm happy about is that he's like been playing consistently well, and that's like 
and that's what we wanted to see from him like just in the team consistently putting a really good level of performance up and so that that can't be understated um for Papi Matasar because at his age a, a lot of players his age would you know be fluctuating in performance so he's had a pretty solid base performance so far um next up Destiny Udogi Excellent. 100% excellent. I think he's been top class this month. Uh, defensively, come up against Saka and Salah as well. Doesn't get much harder than that on the right wing. Um, they are the two, probably the two best right wingers in the league. So he's had tough tests this month and I think he's passed both with flying colours to be honest. So I think uh, really good showings from Destiny. Averaging a 7.8, so very strong month again. That goes into excellent for Destiny Udogi. And in fact, if it wasn't for me bumping him up a bit, he would have gone into very good because I gave him a 9, 7 and 2, 8. And you gave him a 9 and 3, 7s. So because mm. of my 2, 8, he just about makes it in there. But I think he deserves it. I think he's had a fantastic month. He's had a really tough uh, opponent, as you say. And um, it wasn't easy for him. And I think he's had a, he's done really, really well, considering he's 20 years of age as well, still starting uh, his first season in the Premier League. I think he's really done superbly in, in the first part of the season. I think he's had a fantastic September as well. Um, yeah, absolutely. Fantastic. And the last but not least, we've got Ange Postacoglu. And where do you reckon he goes? Big Ange. There's only one place for Big Ange, and that is excellent. There's only one um, place. He's going to get manager of the month in the Premier League again. He really you is. Wish. Yeah, look, he's undefeated. And the considering with that we play Arsenal and Liverpool as well, uh, there's no real reason not to put him in manager of the month for the second month running. I think he's really he's broken the manager of the month curse as well. We're playing great football. I mean, who else could really compete? You could uh, you could say Arsenal, Arteta maybe, but maybe I don't Uma know. Emre. I think, you know, Emre, they've had a very good month as well. Uh, but I think Ange Postecoglou is definitely uh, going to be in the running. And he definitely goes into X. He averaged, we gave him an 8.5 for this month. Uh, two nines and two eights. So very strong showing he for Ange He has to get Ange month, in my opinion. He has to. After, like, the start of the season, to go away to Arsenal and to beat Liverpool at home, um, as well as all the other results we've got this month. Hyung Min Son on complete fire. Um, if, if we're going to have 100% Spurs, Spurs uh, in the Premier League runnings from um, August to September. Madison, Son, <laughs> Postacoglu twice. Damn right. And that's how it should be considering our start to the season. So if we look back at the complete tier this for September, this is does read spectacular reading. So in Can't Judge, we have Forster, Bentancor, Hill, Davis, uh, or Sanchez as well, Skip, Dyer, Sessegnon, Valise, Phillips, and La Celso. In OK, well, not good and awful. We've got no one, which is pretty incredible. In OK, we have Emerson Royale. In good, we have Hoybier and Manor Solomon, I think. Um, yeah. Hoybier and Solomon. In very good, we have Pape Matasar. And in excellent, wow, what a lineup there is in excellent. I think it's a whole lineup, pretty much. We've got Vicario. Basuma, Van de Ven, Perisic, Romero, Richarlison, Madison, Son, Kulisevsky, Poro, Udogi, and Ange Postacoglu. What an incredible month for those guys. This is literally the best tier list, uh, the best month rankings we've ever done. Like, by far. By far. Like, it doesn't even touch any of the other ones, to be honest. First time we've ever had anyone in Not Good. Uh, to be honest, which is crazy. I think there are a couple in there that are probably a bit lucky to get into excellent. Um, but I think all in all, you you can't take away the, the month that Spurs have had because it's been brilliant from everyone involved. Yeah, what a month for Spurs. What a month for the tier list as well. Let me know in the comments section below if you agree with our tier list and with our player ratings. Um, yeah, I want to know your thoughts in the comment section below. But thanks for joining us for another video. Like, subscribe and comment. And as always, come on you Spurs. Thanks.